Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is my very first YouTube video. Um, and it feels so weird with lights and all in front of me, it's just sitting in my room, but yeah. Um, I'm gonna do a Q&A today. Loads of people have actually sent me questions on Instagram and I actually have added in a few myself as well, just from like get to normal Q&As. Sorry about the squeaky chair. Um, so yeah. Kind of some of the questions will explain like why I want to start YouTube and all that um, so I'm not going to explain it here but yeah hopefully this is the start of YouTube for me. Right into yeah. it. I have my questions here so if you'll see me looking down I'm just looking down at the questions I have. So the first question is what is your name, age and where are you from? So my name is Nicole Martin. Joanne is my middle name I just like to put it in it looks nicer. Um, I am 22 and I am from Enniscorthy, well just outside Enniscorthy originally. I'm from Clonassen and now I'm living in Monagir. So yeah, that's question one. Breed. <laughs> Second question is how tall are you? And someone actually asked me this. I am 5 foot 5. I'm kind of small but tall enough I suppose. Um, what year were you born? So, I'm 22, I was born in 1997, the year, no, they didn't. I was going to say the year Wexford won the All-Irelands, no, I was in my mother's stomach. So yeah, that was great. Um, what made you want to do YouTube? Right, this is one that's going to be long. Um, when I started my blog back in... When did I start my blog? Started my blog back in 2000 and where are we now? 2017 maybe? I really wanted to start a YouTube channel, not a blog. Um, I love blogging, it was great, but I just didn't have the confidence to go on and do YouTube. That was the problem. Um, I loved blogging like, and I just gave it up because obviously Confidence wasn't there. I let people judgments get to me um, And yeah, when really back then I wanted to start a YouTube channel. So for the past two years I've wanted to start a YouTube channel and People might wonder why like and I'm just it's your creative acts aspect of it. Like if you've seen The little thing the little video I put at the start of my video I made that myself. That took me two days to make, but I just had to keep going. Like even like one of my friends, I was sending her on Facebook all these videos, and she was probably just getting fed up and looking at them. But um, yeah, I just kept going at it till it was perfect. Like I love creating things. Like even in school, I always love creating things, and also I love to be my own boss. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it's the creativity aspect of it. Like, I love creating things. I always have loved taking pictures and editing videos. And in school, when we used to do, like, computers, I used to love, like, PowerPoint and stuff. So, yeah, that's kind of where I am with why I want to do YouTube. Now, the next question is, why did you stop your blog? I kind of answered this already. Um, someone asked me this and I explained it on my Instagram. I used to have a blog and I stopped it because I let people's judgments get to me. But really at the back of it all I think people weren't actually judging me, it was my own head. Like I was just saying oh people are judging me too much and you know that kind of way I just wasn't, I wasn't in the right place for it, you know, that kind of way I always thought, oh, this person's talking about me, that person's talking about me, when pro they probably weren't, like. So, yeah, that's why I stopped my blog. Now, next question. What kind of videos are you going to be making? Can't wait to watch your content, lots of love. You know who you are. <laughs> um, I will mostly be making vlogs, hopefully. Um a few hauls maybe and beauty videos like makeup and stuff at the start i'd say just vlogs weekly vlogs it's i quite love that like i really want a weekly vlog and the reason why i want a weekly vlog is because it's like keeping a video diary in your life like you know you can show your kids that like when you get older like and it's just a cool way to diary your life do you know that kind of way some people might think oh you're a freak but 
dogs or cats? Dogs, obviously. Well, we have cats and dogs, but dogs, Harley, is my absolute world. My little puppy is Cocker Spaniel. You've probably seen him on my Instagram. He is my absolute world. And I don't know where I'd be where I'm like, so yeah, dogs. Three things we should know about you. Um, first thing is I am a perfectionist. I cannot leave anything, like I'm a hairdresser. But like, I cannot leave anything half done. I have to finish it. If I get my mind to something, I have to finish it. So the first thing, I am a perfectionist. Same with the video at the start of this. It's still not perfect. But it took me two days and I just got into my head, right, this is the best I'm going to get for now until I learn more. Um, second thing is... Oh, this, this is really hard. You should know about me. Um, I am a warrior, a really bad warrior, an overthinker. Like I could think that. I don't know. Like I just really overthink things and get myself into an absolute convulsion over it when it's probably not even happening. Do that kind of way. Like I'm a really bad overthinker. And the third thing is to know about me I well I could just say I am a hairdresser if you didn't know I am I'll be fully trained in well I'll be four and a half years that and now in January so fully trained by January and I love it I love it yeah so there's three things that was really hard I couldn't think there for a minute it was really weird <laughs> next thing someone asked me what bad habit do you have I'd say this would bring back to the question of what should you know about me. Really bad habit is overthinking. Really, really, really badly. Now, I'm not as bad as I used to be. I used to be really bad. But, yeah, overthinking. I overthink absolutely everything. And I just get myself into an absolute convulsion over it. So, yeah, that's a bad habit, I suppose. Um, yeah, the next thing. Who inspired you to start your YouTube channel? Firstly is my favourite YouTuber, Ellie Darby. She has come so far, like I literally cried watching her video the other day about her angel party and how far she's come. Secondly is, she's probably going to cringe at this, is my best friend Chelsea. Chelsea has been my number one supporter since day one. She has been my number one and she has pushed me to do so much like, and she probably doesn't even feel that she has. Look, I'm even like, ah. Oh. Um, even back when my blog, like, the only person I would ask to take my... Like, I used to be embarrassed to take outfit pictures. Like, the only person that I would ever ask to take an outfit picture would be Chelsea. And Chelsea is the only kind of... She's not the only one, but me and Chelsea started watching YouTube together years ago. Like, she got me into YouTube. And ever since I've been saying, oh, I want to start YouTube and all, she has been just there saying, do it. Do it, do it, do it. And she's the only, it's not that she's the only one that has been saying that, like, but she'd be the one that I feel more comfortable talking to stuff like that. Talking to about stuff like YouTube and yeah, so thanks, Chels. She probably doesn't even realise that <laughs> she's helped me so much, but she has. Um, yeah, and Ellie Darby. Oh, you have to look her up. She's my favourite ever. Next one is Have you ever failed at anything? And what was it? What did you learn? I failed at a lot of things. Like if you don't fail at things, you're not normal. Um, I could say I failed at my blog because I just let overwhelming thoughts get to me. But yeah, yeah, I failed at my blog, and what I've learned is to not let the thoughts in your head overwhelm you do not let other people's judgments get to you do your own thing follow your dream because if you don't you'll get nowhere yeah, there you go a bit of inspiration for you but yeah no it's true like people are gonna laugh and talk and this and that but where are they getting like if they're gonna do that they're below you so bye say goodbye Right, next who, right, 
I know who asked me this, so you know who you are. Who is your favourite cousin? And I'm not even going to say it because that's not fair. All of my cousins are my favourite, but I know she's want me to say her, so hi Chloe. Next question, where did your new found confidence come from? You're doing great, thank you. Um, I just woke up one morning and I was like, well, I didn't. True, I'm gonna tell you the story, right? What happened was, over the last year, I have bought myself a holder for the car for my phone to film YouTube videos. I have bought this light, it's from those stores, an LED light to film YouTube videos. I have bought the two lights from Ikea. Um, I bought this stand that my phone is on now. And I bought um, a vlogging thing to hold my phone. Um, and I've had all that for weeks and weeks and weeks. And I was thinking to myself, why am I not doing this? Like, do you know, why don't I just go for it? So one morning I just woke up and I was like, right. I'm just gonna do it and that's the day that I went on my Instagram and explained about why my blog went down the drain and my new confidence has kind of came from working out the gym is absolutely brilliant for your head and even it makes you more confident in your body and stuff I've come like I started the gym properly back in January and I have never looked back. Like I have to go to the gym at least three, four times a week because it just, it gets all, I don't know, it releases good vibes, endorphins or something. I don't know the word, but yeah, the gym has helped me a lot. Um, my confidence, I've just thought people close to you are gonna judge you. People not close to you are going to judge you. Do those people matter? If people are going to judge you, they don't f in your life. Sorry. If people are going to judge you, they don't matter in life, okay? And that's where my new confidence came from. I'm just in a new mindset. I'm just like, I come first. And yeah, you have to put yourself first in life or you're going to get nowhere, so. Yeah. I'm not even looking in the camera for half of this, like I'm looking out the window, looking up at the walls, there's actually a spider up there but I don't care, I don't mind spiders. What am I doing? <laughs> Next one, what's your favourite colour? Black. I love black. No. Black for clothes, love black clothes. Just classy. Black is classy, neutral colours. Um, But my favourite colour would be like dusky pinks and dusky blues and dusky colours. Yeah, I don't really have a favourite colour, but dusky pink, maybe. Yeah. Right, top three YouTubers. Ooh. Number one, Ellie Darby. She is life. She has inspired me so much. She has come so far. Even in the last two years, she has come so far. Yeah, she's my number one. Number two would be... Is really hard. Jamie Genevieve, probably. Jamie Genevieve, she is absolutely amazing at makeup and she's just deadly. She's just so cool. Like. And number three, I will have to say Gemma Louise Miles. She is very like Ellie in ways, but she's only a small YouTuber as well, but she's doing so great. She's getting places and yeah, they're my top three. Next thing, pet peeve. I don't even know. Biggest pet. Black and navy. I don't even know if that's a pet peeve, but when people wear black tracksuit bottoms and navy jumpers, black jumpers, like bluey navy jeans, no. That's my biggest, no. No. Black and navy do not match. Just letting you know. Go home and change clothes. Sorry, that's very judgy of me, but I just can't stand black and navy. Last thing is, what do you think the most rewarding thing will be about doing YouTube? I just like sharing like I've always like even with my blog it wasn't even a blog blog I just like sharing things I love talking he's probably no I am a very chatty person although I can get very awkward as well I can get shy around my best friends which is weird but yeah but I do love talking and um, 
the most rewarding thing will be just sharing with people, being able to help people. If people take one thing from my video, like say if people took one thing from this video, it would be to do what you want in life. It's your life, it's no one else's life. So take that from this video. Um, yeah, to help people, That's, that would be the most rewarding thing, like just to help people, to give people information that might help them. Do you know, even like if I was doing a fashion haul, like if I was doing a pennies haul, if someone liked that jacket and they went and bought it, there you go, like there's a jacket someone got because of my haul, helping you out, you know, that kind of way. So yeah, that, I think that would be the most rewarding, helping people. So. That is all the questions for today. I'm sorry if I was looking out the window or looking at the wall. It's actually my very first video, so yeah. Hopefully there'll be more to come. I do have a vlog, right, I'm just gonna tell you is I do have a vlog ready and edited, but th there was a problem because I was filming with my front facing camera on my phone and the audio was really bad on my front facing camera. And at times I was doing front face and times I was doing back, so the audio is a bit jumpy on it. I have recorded that already but I'm not 100% happy with it so I don't know if you just want me to upload it just I'll put a vote on my Instagram but yeah there will be more videos I'm going to try to start off with one video a week just to get into the groove of things and yeah thanks for watching subscribe down below and give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and hope to see you all soon.